Okay guys, so this video is to demonstrate some basic electrical testing uh, on some of these removed pumps that I have in my boiler den. Uh, they're all very similar, all Grunfoss, uh, and we're going to be checking uh, for some resistance to get some readings uh, of the coil winding and also to make sure that we don't have a short circuit, which in majority of the cases results in turning the MCB or blowing the fuse. Uh, so we have one pump that's faulty out of these four in here. The other three should give us very similar readings and results, but one pump uh, is faulty out of these. So we will try to eliminate which one it is and take it from there. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to set our multimeter to the continuity setting, just a buzzer setting, just want to demonstrate something to you. So obviously in this setting, when we put leads together, it gives us a beep and it just shows that there is continuity between two points. So now on the first pump, what I'm going to check is I'm going to check the earth pin to the body of the pump and it should be continuous. Let's see. It is. Same with the second pump, the earth pin and the body. Same with the third one, the earth pin and the body. And then same with the fourth one, earth pin and the body. So that tells us that the earth pin is connected to the body of these pumps which is that's how we expecting it to be now we're going to check the next pin which is the neutral on this pump so the neutral should have no contact to the body so no continuity there same with this pump no continuity same with the third one no continuity to body and same with the fourth one no continuity to the body itself so bear in mind i'm not touching this rubber part i'm actually touching the body uh, the metallic part of it. So no continuity on all four, which is good. We're expecting the very same result for the live as well. No continuity to the body. So let's just check live to the body. Live to the body on this one. Live to the body on this one. And then live to the body of this one. Hold on, what's going on here? So as we check in live to the body, I'll bring this one slightly closer so you can see it. And let's just get this pin into this live if we can. Yes, we can. So as you can see now, the pin is actually in the live connection. And this connection should not have any continuity to the body of this pump. So it's actually showing us that there is a short circuit between live and earth on here. Now let's see what kind of results it's going to give us where it comes to the actual continuity or resistance reading I should say. So the resistance itself, resistance test, uh, let's just quickly check the resistance within these leads around 0.3. Okay that's fine so we're just going to go between live and neutral on the first pump. We're expecting around 147 so between 145 to 150 possibly on average so 147 on this one Second one live and neutral, 143, 144. Third one live and neutral, 152. And this is just ohms. And then the last one, which is a faulty one, we've got around, well, we had around one point, it's going up and down. But we had about 1.96 mega ohms, 2 mega ohms resistance in this. So the resistance due to winding burning out has gone really, really high. Uh, because now it's possibly just including uh, all the body resistance there as well. Uh, but that's a faulty pump. Uh, it came out of a Worcester Bosch Green Star. I posted a video on my YouTube channel where I was actually training the manifold. Uh, return manifold on this Worcester Bosch. And we pulled out this pump as well uh, because it was just blowing the fuse on the PCB. Uh, it had a water leak right on top of it and it seems like some water went inside and caused this pump to fail as well. But yeah, the, so the resistance reading on a pump uh, that's normally working okay, around 140 to 150 ohms. And the only continuity we're expecting is between earth and the body, both neutral and live shouldn't have any continuity to the body of the pump. I hope it makes sense. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you. Bye.